Hey everybody, Angie from Color Tree Creations here. Um, I'm working on a custom order. Also, while I'm working with on the other, the Etsy store journal that we've been messing with, the beautiful world with the uh, the Zoe Tofield type cover. Um, I wanted to show you something real quick. When I make my own um, chipboard or bookboard, because I I refuse to pay five dollars for a sheet of chipboard and big enough to make two journals. Um, it's wasteful for me um, as far as in my mind's eye on money, especially when I can reuse things that I have here at home, um, which saves money to the people who buy my books. I don't have to charge sixty dollars for a book when it's made a, when it's a hardcover. Um, and I'm also recycling, so all this stuff that you see, I kid you not, I've tried this video five times, and every single time I start talking, he starts crying. <sighs> anyway, this is all that, not eat, well, this won't even go in the trash. This is what will go in the trash from one box. See what I'm saying? That's a, a big savings. Um, sometimes, though, when we want to make a specific size cover, like this is six by this is six by nine. I do not want to have to cut into a big piece like a big cereal box to get this uh, third layer because I like to make three layers. Because if you see how thick that is, that's exactly right for the crimp down book corners. So um, especially by the time I put my uh, paper covering over it and stuff. So I'm going to show you a little trick real quick. When you have this, if you're going to do three layers, um, you can do it like like I'm going to do. I'm going to take my uh, nail file and I am going to rough up the surface a little bit, take off that slick feeling, that slick co coating or whatever's on it. Um, I'm working on paper so I don't scratch up my counter any worse than what it is. I need new counters. Uh, the lady who bought the house the first time, it was it was a new built house, then uh, it was foreclosed on, and then the lady who bought it, she had to redo it, but didn't get to redo it all before she remarried, and when she remarried she moved into her husband's house. And then they both passed away in a car accident, so we just bought the house as was, and then we've had two kids since then, so money has been kind of a tight object. So they they work, that's the main thing, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, so you take your, your paperboard pieces, and you get out your glue, and I just use this, and yes, it will warp a little... Um, because it's not, this is a, a water-based glue. It's not a silicone or solvent-based glue. So, um, there's a real simple fix for that, though. You wait your book down for 12 hours or so. I usually do my books overnight. See, I'm, eh, I'm doing this book um, as a custom order. It's just going to be a plain, I have dyed over 150 uh, coffee dyed pages in the past day. So, um, oh, and guess what else I did? Cheesecloth. It's my first time ever using it. Um, so, because I took Nick the Booksmith's uh, newest book binding method course, the way she does her book bindings, not the actual book covers. I will do those after tax time, I hope. Anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> like I said, I've done this video three times. And then one time I, I hit it so that I can't access it. I don't know. I'll have to wait till my tech support hubby gets home. He's my tech support. But anyway, so you take the sheet that's the too short piece. Make sure that you got it lined up here at the bottom. And if these hang over a little bit on the edges, that's not a big deal. I'll either file them down 
um, or I will cut them down. And then you get yourself another bead of glue right here. Make sure that I actually get the whole thing since it's going to be at the edge. And then I'm going to take this little piece, this thin little piece here. I'm trying to stay in frame, guys. Um, I have an under cabinet light and it's blinding me. So I am trying to, it's hard to see what I'm, where I'm at up here to down here. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this on. It's about the same thickness. So it will it will prevent... You see, like, if I were to take two pieces of book board or book board of paper board and put them together, and then you have this piece here that doesn't quite butt all the way up, as you can... I put it like this, okay? And then you want this piece the same height... Well, there's a gap in there whenever you glue it, and it'll it'll just be funky shaped. So, you know, improvise. As I say in my shop, I try to recycle as much as possible. That includes packaging of all kinds. And see what I'll do after this dries, because this is still wet. After this dries, I will go through and I will cut that piece off. That little bitty tiny piece. And it'll be good as good as gold. So now I will take my glue and I, I already did the other one. It's sitting over here off camera that way under some uh, glass pans, you know, because they're heavy. Um, I'm having to work up stairs today. I'm trying to get all of my stuff done that I need to get done. Um, and since I can't just do that when my hubby's home, I have to walk upstairs. <sighs> yes, that's my my 13 year old and my 8 year old. Or almost 8 year old. No, she's 8. She's going to be going to be eight gonna be eight holy moly yeah she was born 2010 so she's not eight yet she's going to be eight I am horrible I have the brain of a goldfish anymore so then we take this I've got all that glue on there and I don't worry about spreading it out completely to the edges because that will happen when I put pressure on it You can see it, it pushes out. I use a lot of force. And see, so you can see the middle book page or book piece there. I keep saying book page or book piece. The middle piece of paperboard there is a little longer on one end. You know, right here. Um, actually, that's the extra piece I made in it. Oh, I'm so silly. Anyway, but it sticks out a little bit on one edge here. So, you know, just trim that off with your scissors the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to be covering it. This is this is going to be covered by a layer of paper or fabric or whatever you choose or a hodgepodge of all of the above. But yeah, there you go. When this dries, I'll trim that off and we'll have a good solid thick piece of Cards, card, uh, what was that? I forget what it's called. I just said it, book, pay, the book board. I might be able to trim that now. Because it does aggravate me, I will say that, when they're not even. But they don't have to be perfectly even. I just don't want them sticking out like an eighth of an inch. Or as my dad says, sticking out like a sore thumb. So... What I will do is, I've got some tea piece of, there's the other piece of book board I have to cut that piece off of. Oh, I just did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. So I will put this on here. It's weighted down. And then I will 
cut this off along the edge. And then I will trim up the rest or use my uh, file to file it down even if it's like too thin for me to get my scissors in there. Ooh, we don't want to drop it in there. But yeah, see, here you go. Now you have a piece of book board. Yeah, I'm going to have to either get an exacto knife or file that down a little bit. But you got yourself a piece of book board here, six by nine, and uh, thick enough that it's, it's not, this isn't completely dry. I've only done this, I mean, it's flexible. It's hard for me to say, <laughs> but yeah, it's still, like, once this dries, because it's got the liquid glue in there, it will be hard. I'm going to put them on top of each other. And it will be fairly rigid, and then you won't have uh, much issue with the, the bending or anything. But yeah, so that's that's how I do it. Um, sometimes I only use two if I'm not real. If it doesn't, I don't want it to be too thick. I know it sounds silly, but like I really like to use three if I know that I'm going to be. I'm going to use that for spine piece. Um, if I know I'm going to be doing a uh, like book corners on the book, and this book this book is going to get book corners, and if you only do two thicknesses of this kind of paper, you have to really squash them down, and they don't look as pretty. So that's why I do the three, or you could also do cardstock. You know, uh, a layer of cardstock in the middle. But it's still not quite as thick as that paperboard from packaging. So, anywho, I hope that this video turned out okay and that we can watch it. If not, maybe I'll hide that one too on accident. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.